Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki here, and I'm going to have a kind of cool little episode for you today of the uh, Road to Taskmaster. And in my bank right now, I have full constructors, which is awesome, and the boots and gloves, I'm wearing them because they go well with this outfit. And I also have the lumberjack hat and lumberjack boots, and I got extremely unlucky when it came to getting these, so I was not able to get the full set. I think I'm still missing the top and legs. I'm not sure if there's a glove piece to the lumberjack. I don't think there is. There might be. Oh well. But yeah, I did not. I was not able to get the full lumberjacks. So that's really annoying. But uh, we're going to be doing the Mauritania elite tasks today because uh, for a long time the only requirement that I had left uh, was to was to finish temple trekking. And now that I have finished temple trekking, I can do that. So first of all, I think the first thing we're going to do is to um, mix a prayer renewal potion in Mauritania. And I have the Felstux grown, and I have the uh, Morchilla Mushrooms grown. And I really actually need to get a Morchilla Mushroom seed, but um, I can do that in a second. kind of forgot to pick that. I, got, I brought like everything else except for the Morchilla Mushrooms. And um, everything else in here is like all just uh, items to complete the tasks, so I should have everything. Hopefully I did not forget anything to complete all the tasks, and it's going to be awesome to have this elite task done because I, it's going to be giving me a fair amount of agility XP and probably getting me pretty close to the next agility level. I'm not too far off. And then I can just use those skull boots to get the last of that level. So uh, these fell socks actually give really good XP. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to plant that. I got my fell stock seed back, which isn't really a big deal. Clean the fell stocks, and... Uh, Put a fell stock in a vial of water. Um, I guess that didn't work out too well. There we go. There's an unfinished fell stock potion. Now all I need left is um, to get the morcello mushrooms, and I I'll remember to get a seed this time. Morcello mushrooms. Yeah, I believe I keep them in this tab. Yes, I do. All right. And if I, I do believe if I uh, put a more chilled mushroom into this thing, it's going to give me the task. I do hope so. I hope that I didn't like leave Mauritania in between making the potion that it won't screw me over, because Jax is known to do things like that. But um, all right, the ferric ring coat is C K S, and let's head over there. I I also have to kill an abyssal demon in the Slayer Tower, so I hope there isn't like a ton of bots there or anything, because that would be kind of bad. Anyway, pick these more jello mushrooms, and uh, let's mix this potion. The more jello mushrooms are actually pretty good for money, and after you complete the elite task, you get double more cellos, so, like, two more cellos for every one. And there we go, as good as renew. Got the task done, and a prayer renewal potion, which is pretty awesome. So, and now I'm just going to run up to the top floor of the Slayer Tower, and I'll meet you guys there. Luckily, I did not get attacked by any of the Abbey Specs, because there's so many bots up here. Like, look at all these bots, dude. It's amazing how there's so many little 200 bots, but I guess uh, Jax just doesn't ban them. So, anyway, I got I was pretty safe. I was I was just thinking like for a max combat player, there's probably better money making methods out there, but oh well. I'm surprised there's no bots at the Necreals. They're honestly better money than uh, Abbey Specs, but oh well. So uh, I just have to kill an Abyssal Demon. And surprisingly, there's no bots here. I was not expecting that at all, but uh, I'm also not complaining. That'd be awesome if I got a whip. Seriously doubt I will, but who knows? Maybe I'll get like a D med or something like that on the kill. Pure essence. Crimson charm, infernal ashes. And whip. It's good. But I did not get a whip, sadly. Alright, our next task is actually really easy. You just have to rub the game's necklace and go to Berg de Rot. Da 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 That's a reward from completing temple tracking as well, so not such a rotten idea. It actually was a pretty good idea. So if you read the notice board here, you can see under rewards, I have everything done from temple tracking, and that means you could buy a ghast familiar, which is another uh, elite test. This is like a terrible reward for temple tracking. Like the ghast familiar, since it's 50k, is just absolutely useless. No one would ever use it. So there you go. There's a ghast. It looks freaking awesome, but besides that, besides just the looks, there's absolutely no point to it because it's just too expensive to uh, to have them. And anyway, the next one is to burn a fire shade. Fear. Not sure how to pronounce that. Don't really care. But yeah, I have to burn a fear shade. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully you pyrologs work. Um, 
Let's let's do this. Hold on. So it just turned out that you do need magic fire logs to burn fire remains. Unfortunately, I didn't know that. I thought you was enough. Um, it did say you needed 80 fire making to do it, so... I thought 80 fire making was the requirement for you power logs, and like 90 was the requirement for magic, but hey, what do I know? I know nothing about this game, so let's actually... let's do this. Magic power logs. There are only... like, magic power logs are... well, the U power logs and the GE, they're like 4.2k, and the magic power logs in the GE are like 3.9k, although the magic bought for way more. But it's just odd that the GE price of the magic logs is lower than that of the U. So, I burn the fire remains and I get a silver key brown. Um, not really sure what that's used for, don't really care, so we're going to go in here to achievements. And the last one is Fisher Shark Barehanded off the Berg to Rot Dock. And since I'm lazy and since I really don't like having. Uh, games necklaces that are one in my bank. I'm just going to teleport to Berg Durat with this. And this is where the Admiral Pies come in. I have two Admiral Pies here. That's because I'm only 92 fishing and you need 96 fishing to catch a shark barehanded. So uh, the Admiral Pies will allow me to do that. And uh, then we have to go to some place in Meyerditch. Oh, there's a fishing guy here. Okay, that's that's kind of cool. So, uh, I do believe Net and Harpoon are the ones that we're after, so... There we go. Net Harpoon. Go! Catch it! Oh, I got it, like, immediately. That's awesome. Okay, so I've completed every task in the Fremnic area, and I can drop the Admiral Pies, don't need the Silver Key. And, uh, how we're going to get to the dude that is going to give us the more Meyer Legs 3. Just to be safe, I'm going to grab the more Never mind, I don't have the more my legs three in my bank. I was just going to say I was gonna grab the the legs, the number three legs from my bank. But I don't think I have them anymore, so um you can't use the well you can use the uh medallion to teleport to Meyer Ditch, but it's faster to go this way. And no I do not have Taskmaster yet. I still need uh I need to do I need what is it, two thieving levels, although I'm really, really close to one. Basically, for Taskmaster right now, I need two thieving levels. Um, uh, I believe, like, you need 91 RC for the uh, jungle Taskmaster, but I can just boost it with evil stews, because I have tons of evil stews. So I might just get a couple RC levels and then boost it. Um, I'll probably just get 90 RC before I do the Taskmaster. How do I get over here? Oh, just like that. That was easy. Okay. Um... So for for Taskmaster, let's say I need four RC levels, two thieving levels, and then I need what do I need? I need um, to finish all the re achievements in the Dominion Tower. So that should take forever and a day. Um, but after I do those things, I'll be able to get the Taskmaster remote, and I'm really excited for that. It's been my goal for a long, long time. Like if you've been following my channel, I know a few people have. Uh, I've had this goal for a really long time. So let's go through here. Come on. I will come back when I am at Old Man Rel. Apparently the only way to get to this fool is to stand right here and click on this exact spot. And there's pretty much no way you would know that unless you were really, really good at this game, which I am not, because, uh, well... I did Darkness of Hallowbell a long, long time ago, and I haven't had to climb through the city again yet, thankfully, so uh, I just, I didn't really know what I was doing here, so hopefully we will get our task reward, and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the Taskmaster series as much as I do, like, I know I haven't made an episode for a long time, but this is definitely my, my favorite series I've ever made, not really sure why, I just really, really enjoy doing tasks, so um, sadly there's only two tasks left to do, but uh, let's let's talk to this fool now. Give me my stuff. Um, more achievement system. Yay. Okay. So I don't think these leggings are going to get me an agility level, but, uh, yeah, they're not going to. They're going to get me a good amount of XP. 140k. So, yeah, I'm now only 50k off an agility level. And if I'm able to, like, complete the desert test tomorrow or something, I could do... I could get, um... Well, basically just one thieving level and a little bit of another, 
and I could finish Dominion Tower in one day, and then like do Desert Task tomorrow and get an agility level. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I have these Mortania legs, which have a slime pit teleport and all that cool stuff, and I'll probably never even wear them, but just cool having all that done. Thanks for watching, and farewell.